Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass geometry. In this video we're going to be using origami to find the volume of a cube. First we will make a paper cube by using origami, the one you see right here, and then we are going to measure our real life cube and find its volume. Before we start be sure to have six sheets of origami paper like you see right here and a ruler. So if you really want to follow along this origami paper is four inches by four inches. And if, if you don't have that paper and you wanna follow along, I also have a printout that you can download in the description below. So now let's start. Let's start with our first sheet of paper. We're gonna take our origami paper and we are going to fold it in half. Open it up and then we're gonna take one side and just bring it to the center. Now we're gonna take the other side and bring it to a center. So we're gonna make it horizontal and just flip this way now. Unfold that and now we're gonna take the bottom right corner and flip it up halfway to the, to the center. And then we're gonna do the same thing that this on the other side, but we're gonna take the top left corner. We're gonna take the top left corner and bring it down. So we get a shape like this. Now we'll unfold this and notice we have two little triangles that we made. So we're gonna open this first flap and just fold our triangle down and then fold it down. And on the bottom, we're gonna open this up, fold the triangle down and then up here, this little flap that's kind of sticking up, we're gonna fold that piece down and then put this bottom flap up. So we're gonna take this flap on this side and just kind of tuck it in right here. Now we're going to flip our shape over and take our right side and just bring it across like that. And we're gonna do the same thing with this left side here and bring it across so we kind of have this, this shape here. And now we're, we're going to unfold what we just folded, just these two pieces, and that's our shape. So we're gonna be making five more of these. So now we have a total of six of our little shapes and now we can actually assemble our cube. So we're gonna do that by taking each shape and using the little flap and just kind of placing it into the top left pocket of each shape. So here we have our flap and then here's our top left pocket and we're just gonna tuck in our, our flap in here. So we're gonna do this going four ways all the way around. And notice these two can come into each other. And then we just place one on the top and one on the bottom to complete our cube. And we have our cube. So now that we have our cube, we can actually find its volume. So this is where we're going to take out our ruler and let's measure the length of our cube. So the thing about cubes, of course, is that it's the same length and width on all sides. So if we look here, this is about an inch and a quarter. So if one side is an inch and a quarter, that means we can easily find its volume. So a volume of a cube is just its length times width times height. And since it's a cube, all three of those lengths are gonna be exactly the same, which is 1.25 inches. So we're gonna be multiplying 1.25 times 1.25 times 1.25, or 1.25 cubed. And when you calculate that out, we're going to get 1.953125 inches cubed. So 
The volume of a cube is super simple, but something really important to always remember is that when multiplying three of the same unit together to calculate volume, we always express the answer as units cubed. So notice that little three in our answer. That's how we represent volume. And in this case, we're multiplying inches. We express the answer as inches cubed. So there we have it. We made our real world cube and we found its volume. I hope you found that this video was helpful and I hope it made math a bit more fun. If you're looking for more origami or more math and art videos, be sure to check out the links above in my math and art playlist right here. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by and happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating.